up? Good morning, everyone. So now we are on our way to Offnage School because uh, Ruby has been actually sponsoring a, a, a small little boy for seven years. I didn't know that. And I thought, hey, you know, it'd be quite cool if I can tag along to just, you know, look at who is this little boy. And now we're just getting coffees inside and we've got a, we've got a guide here on, well, he's actually here. Yeah, so I brought him around. Yeah, so I brought him around. Then, yesterday, Anakara Resort, including Kraya. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, save your work. Just corn inside. Oh, sweet God! Alright, time to go to the orphanage school. We are done. Ruby just got herself a new keyboard for her Akong. So yeah, we are ready to go. It's a long day. Come on, Cap! I'm sorry. Not that I want, but I really need to pee. Mr. Lysil? Yeah. Oh, this is the boy? Yeah, boy, yes. Oh, so, yeah. this is actually the boy that Ruby has been sponsoring for the past seven years, but this yeah. is the first time uh, Ruby will be meeting him. He's, uh, he dress uh, his costume now. The Lahu this costume, is, yeah. So this is actually a traditional costume. They, they, there's this tribe called Rahu. Lahu. Uh, Lahu. Yeah, Lahu. Like a Chinese word, like uh, Lahu. Lahu. Tiger. Hunter. Tiger. So it's like a tiger tribe. Yeah. So this is the traditional costume. Yeah. So if you guys ever in Chiang Rai or even in Chiang Mai, you need someone who really know a lot of stuff. Man, this is the man you're supposed to find. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ruby is actually uh, inside the meeting room uh, of the orphanage meeting office, uh, and she just met her. Uh, godson that she's been sponsoring for the past seven years. Hey, maybe you can just you know go and go and talk about it. Go and you know have any discussion with them if you want. Man, this is an interesting village because this place is called Lauhu Tribe. It's very interesting. These people are not actually Thai. They are, I think, from uh, Myanmar, and then they came over here long time back. <laughs> <laughs> so I showed them my tongue piercing, but they never really see it before. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes when you come to this kind of village, right, you feel like you are very lucky. Cause, um, yeah, sometimes I just feel I'm really lucky. Sometimes we people feel like even we have everything, and then we are still not enough or contented with life. And then here you are, have people like that. They are still very happy, put on a big smile. And then we always complain so much. These kids don't even have phones. Come on, this boy is 10. And then in, 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 in some countries, you know, at certain age, you got handphones and stuff. But these boys are like, just enjoying their life, village life. It's just like how our parents' kampung days, you know, they have nothing but they enjoy to the max. So I think we people should start to really appreciate and, you know, treasure life and appreciate every single small little things be your friends give you say to you your parents or whoever all right so now we are walking to uh, ruby's godson's place to have some lunch yeah actually i'm really hungry finally can makan little day uh, you know i'm from singapore like so bau dia aku tak used to it but I'm respecting it I'm not saying I'm, I hate it it's just I'm not used to it but yeah 
Still, still, still not a problem. Last year, the house. A long time ago, we dry opium seed here also. We keep here. You know the termite doesn't eat. Uh huh. Yeah, the smoke dry all this stuff. Oh, is it? Yes, the smoke from the fire. Yeah. You put the fire there, the fire and then there. the meat is here. Yes. Can, can so this one can preserve the meat longer. Yeah. Hey, Pio. Uh, this is This is their kitchen. This is uh animal traps. Animal traps? Yeah the trap. Uh it's for catching bird. Catching bird? Yeah, yeah. This is how 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 do they catch bird? Bird is uh be before slingshot. Because slingshot I think come last like uh, 30 years, right? When they got the rubber slingshot, yeah. But this one okay. all made of uh made of the one, bamboo. Two Three. Yeah, see? Hang, hanging neck. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They die. All right. It's really dark in here, but we're gonna have our lunch. Yes. Here, yeah, Charlie's right. there. Yeah, Ruby is there. Me. So we're gonna have yeah. a very traditional, I guess, Lahu, uh, yeah. Lahu, Lahu, Lahu tribe food. Yeah, Lahu food. Yeah. Charlie said that you know he's been missing this kind of food for so long, <laughs> and finally he got delicious food. So yeah, we're gonna have our lunch. I don't want to talk so much because I'm very hungry also. Yes. So see you guys later. Like, ah. I'm chasing the kid. I don't know where I might go. <laughs> len, 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 len. Don't know where he run to. I wanted to play that thing. Ma, ma, ma. You see? <laughs> How did I play? <laughs> Crazy, right? You see, simple fun. Don't need to ask for too much handphone and everything. Simple. That helps. Man, this is called real happiness. Oh. We want to say thank you for coming here. I did it your time. Uh, yes. Happy to. Happy yeah. to. Hopefully we will see you again. I will come you again. I will come back. Yes. And then uh, safe journey home. Thank you. And then God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, okay next. So apparently a neighboring church pastor is here so they are doing some prayers for Ruby and also for the kids. Uh, they are hoping that you know everyone's gonna be happy, have a safe journey back home for us. And I think just for everyone, uh, what religion you follow, I think ultimately no religion will teach you the wrong thing, the bad things and I'm very sure every religion teaches us to be a good person, uh, treat people with respect. I think it's been a very fruitful trip so far. I'm not going to disturb their prayers. I'm not a Christian or, or Catholic, but respect, respect, respect.